is that time for this week's slam of the week I get asked quite often can you use Google applications offline can you use Chromebooks offline when you don't have inter internet connection and the answer is well kinda depends depends on the application and um, let me show you here for example I'm in the Chrome Web Store and if I click under collections you will see that there are um, there's a list of offline applications that are here let me just let you know this is not an exhaustive list this is more like featured applications so check those out there under offline apps in collections another thing you can do is just simply type in the word offline which will pop up any application that has the word offline in the description um, or in the title so you can see I've actually installed several of these and the other thing you can do is let's say you were looking for a calculator application I will make the decision on whether or not I install one app or another uh, based on whether or not it connects to my Google Drive and or in this case if that application can be used offline saw that little thunderbolt de deal that lets me know or lightning bolt and um, I have a little small collection of offline apps I wanted to show you for email just install Gmail offline make sure that you open up the app first so that it gives you the permissions option and you go ahead and sync up your email and it gives you some simple email client functionality something else uh, I love the Google Tasks feature and so I can use that offline offline dictionary which is helpful Google Calendar this does require a little bit of setup um, just like the um, email required a little bit of setup you want to while you're online go ahead and do your syncing process so here under settings notice I have the option for offline enable offline calendar go ahead and go through that process and then the other Google app I'd like to highlight is Google Drive and um, where you find this is a little bit hidden it's under more see that and offline docs click on that go through the enabling process and notice it tells you you can edit you can create and edit word processing documents Google Docs but you can only view spreadsheets and then that's it offline that's what you're limited to so you have sort of basic productivity but um, not much after that so um, that's that's pretty much it I would highlight as well your Kindle reader or Google Playbooks whatever you like to to use for e-reading go ahead and make sure that you install those books or making make sure you take them offline um, so that you can read them that's really it hope you enjoyed that hope that was helpful have a great week